Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about agarose gel electrophoresis. Okay, at first, why do we use agarose gel electrophoresis? Agarose gel electrophoresis is used to separate DNA molecules according to their size, in which the agarose gel is act as a matrix on which the DNA molecules migrate. And the electrophoresis is used to separate DNA molecules according to their size by applying a uh, electric current okay now why dna why not proteins actually agarose gel electrophoresis is used to separate dna's but not proteins because the dna molecules are much more larger than proteins and the porosity of agarose gel is very large comparative to proteins and that's why proteins are not separated by agarose gel but remember the larger large molecular weight proteins can be separated by agarose gel electrophoresis okay but mainly proteins are uh, separated by sds page in which polyacrylamide gel is used which uh, whose porosity is very much comfortable with the proteins and that's why we can separate proteins in sds page okay now factors affecting migration at first the molecular size of dna okay the larger the DNA molecule will migrate less in the agarose gel. Suppose a 50 kD DNA fragment and a 100 kD DNA fragment is added to the uh, agarose gel. The 50 kD DNA fragment will migrate more and the 100 kD DNA fragment migrate less because the 50 kD DNA fragment face less resistant and it will easily pass into the agarose gel pores because its size is small and but the 100 kilodalton DNA fragment migrate less frequently because it will stuck in the uh, agarose gel pores more times okay that's why it migrate less less than the 50 kg DNA fragments okay now the agarose concentration how the agarose concentration affect the migration of DNA. Okay. At first, what is agarose? Agarose is a polysaccharide which contain repeating disaccharide of agarobios. Okay. And in room temperature, agarose is present in its solid state. But if we heated the agarose, then the hydrogen bonds will break and it will come to its liquid state. And in liquid state, the agarose is poured in the agarose gel tank. To solidify now how the agarose concentration affect the migration of DNA in high concentration of agarose the migration of DNA is very low because the in high concentration of agarose the agarose molecules are very tightly packed and the pores between them is very small that's why the DNA molecules will migrate very less in the high concentration of agarose and in low concentration of agarose uh, DNA molecules migrate very uh, easily okay to separate different sizes of DNA we can use different agarose concentration okay uh, suppose <coughs> we can we want to detect uh, small DNA fragments okay then we use high concentration of agarose because this time the agarose porosities will be small and the small DNA will uh, migrate, migrate this uh, high concentration of agarose very easily. Okay. Um, and basically in agarose gel electrophoresis we use agarose, agarose 0.7 to 2%. Okay. Now uh, what is the effect of conformation of DNA in DNA migration? Okay, suppose <coughs> a supercoiled DNA and a relaxed DNA is added to the agarose gel. The supercoiled DNA will migrate more easily in the agarose gel because it is more ordered structure and the relaxed DNA will migrate less in the uh, agarose gel. So, it will give the band here and it will give the band there okay this is the difference and now uh, what is the effect of 
applied current in the migration of DNA. <coughs> the rate of DNA migration is also proportional to the applied current. Okay, so if we uh, increase the current supply, then the migration of DNA will be very uh, fast. Okay, so but uh, but if we increase the current very uh, in very high amount, then uh, it generate a heat in the uh, agarose gel, which will uh, liquidify the agarose and that will hamper the agarose gel electrophoresis. So we have to use a uh, considerable amount of uh, current to run the agarose gel electrophoresis. Okay. Now, what is the use of gel electrophoresis buffer? Buffer provide ions that carry the current from the cathode to the anode and it also maintain the pH at a relatively constant value. Okay, now in agarose gel electrophoresis, we use two types of buffer that is the trees borate EDTA buffer or trees acetate EDTA buffer. Okay, now the tracking dye of DNA. The tracking dye of DNA is used to track the DNA in the agarose gel electrophoresis. Okay, in agarose gel electrophoresis, we use two types of tracking dye the propofenol blue and the xylene cyanide. Tracking dye is basically added with the DNA sample and then DNA sample is added to the agarose gel to, to follow the migration of the DNA fragments in the agarose gel electrophoresis. Okay, now visualization of DNA. Actually DNA is colorless. So to visualize DNA we have to add ETBR to DNA. ETBR is an intercalating agent which intercalates in between DNA base pairs and fluoroses and we detect the fluoroses in the UV light and visualize the DNA. Okay, thank you for watching this video.